Hi guys. I was going to do a vlog tonight, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow night because I haven't really got a lot to talk about. So, what I'm going to talk about instead, which might be interesting to some, it might not, um, is my reasons for liking a girl's cartoon and a girl's toy line, I suppose. You know, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. You know, I've got the annual there, still with over 200 stickers. Uh, and the reason I'm going to do this is so hopefully people can watch it and won't judge other bronies when they understand, you know, to try and explain it in the vain hope that people will actually understand a bit more rather than judging. I've not been judged, not yet. As I say, there's a first time for everything. But I have heard stories on various fan groups and whatnot where bronies have been bullied. I read a news story a couple of months ago where I can't remember if it said he was six, seven years old, this little boy, and he had a My Little Pony backpack and I think a lunchbox. And he was getting bullied at school for it. Um, anyway, so, before I digress anymore, why do I like my little pony, and why did I become a brony? Well, for me, there's multiple reasons. For one, I'm already a furry. I think I've said that in one of my many videos on the channel. You know, I like anthropomorphic animals. I like cartoons with such animals in. And if you don't know what anthropomorphic is, it's basically where... Something could be an inanimate object, like the cars in the Cars movie, Disney Cars, or the planes. They would be classed as anthropomorphic. Or where talking animals are given, you know, human traits or human characteristics, you know, where they talk, have hands, walk on two legs, whatever. Mix of all. You know, it's something I've always liked from when I was little. I've always preferred to watch cartoons with, well, simply talking animals in. You know, Bugs Bunny, Looney Tunes, Tiny Tunes, that was one of my favourites. Uh, the Animaniacs. Loads of them like that. I was never very interested in the human-based cartoons, like uh, what was in the 90s. Recess. I did just think of a load and it's just gone, but you know, I was just, I was just, anyway, I was just never interested in the human based cartoons when I was growing up. So that's pretty much why I decided when I discovered the furry fandom to be a furry. Because you know, other people shared that interest, so that was great. So that's probably part of the reason I like My Little Pony, you know, because they're anthropomorphic animals. They're animals, I love animals. I've got Nemo and he's cute, isn't he? Lovely. And anyone that knows me knows I'm a sucker for anything cute. I just love anything cute. I do feel weird saying that, you know, I'm a man and I love things cute. Talk about having a few wires crossed up here. <laughs> anyway, there's that. And for the actual show, I love the character base. I mean, in the main TV show, if we... I won't count the comics or anything like that. I'll just count the main show. It's got a huge character base. So many main characters and... You know, background characters. They are all different. Although they look the same because the animators use the same base body, I suppose. Which I don't really mind because in real life, you know, all ponies would look the same. Body shape wise, apart from colours. <laughs> that's pretty much what, you know, 
the writers of My Little Pony did. Uh, so you've got a good bunch of characters, good personalities, it teaches great values to the kids, you know, about accepting people for who they are, and even some of the villains in the show have uh, been reformed and turned into good people. Uh, or in this case, good ponies, I suppose. Uh, the storylines can be pretty good. Well, I don't think there's much of a story... Well, there isn't really a storyline. The episodes differ, but at the end of each season, the main six characters usually have to defeat some kind of big villain. So, yeah, I actually am enjoying collecting all these figurines. I've actually just gone and purchased <laughs> another cuddly toy, actually of this one, who featured in one episode. I've seen her as a background character in many episodes, but she had more of a part in Season 5, Episode 24. That's Octavia plays the cello, and you're probably wondering how the hell does a pony with hooves play a cello? It's a cartoon, since when does logic make sense in a cartoon? They don't apply logic in cartoons. <laughs> but yeah, so I've got a plushie of her coming. Probably about that size, actually. Oh, that's another reason. I think most bronies would relate to one or more of the characters. For me, I can highly relate to this one. This one's Fluttershy. Right? And she... is one of the shyest characters in the show. She's the shyest main character, anyway. There's several, you know... smaller characters, I suppose. I know she would be a smaller character. Or background characters, they prefer to call them. Um, who are shy. I'll show you here is the shyest. Well, thanks to my autism, I am quite shy. And she loves animals. I love animals as well. You know, there's a lot of characteristics with Fluttershy that I can relate to. Probably why one of the reasons she's actually one of my favourite characters. I haven't actually got a figure of all my favourite characters yet. Um, Minduet, she's one of my favourites. Another background character. Uh, Fiddly Twang is another one. Two of the little fillies. That's Twist and Silver Spoon. I want to get the other main characters as well. Derpy Hooves. Nicknamed by uh, the, the um, fans. The actual character name is Muffin. Yeah, that is it for... <laughs> oh, there's Lotus. And she's got a um, sister called Aloe. And they run the spa in Ponyville. Yeah, I've already picked up a good knowledge over these few months. They are known as the spa ponies. It's just a well... To me, it's just a well thought out show. And besides, as someone did say, you know, us bronies are, <laughs> are keeping the show going because um, apparently, so I heard, this is the only generation of My Little Pony that has had seven seasons. Season seven is re being released in 2017. Um... The previous generations, like the ones from the 1980s onwards, never went that high. I don't know why, though. Mind you, I do prefer the artwork. Because this is no... Friendship is Magic is known as Generation 4. The fourth generation of My Little Pony. 
and I do prefer the artwork. I think that's why so many people actually like this one. And of course, with modern technology, the animation is better. But, uh, yeah, that's just my little explanation. So, if anyone wants to know why a fully grown adult man would be interested in such a show, well, now you know. So, hopefully, people will watch this video and then judge. Never judge before, before you've got the information. Obviously, with different bronies, they're going to have different reasons, you know, because not all of them are furries. A lot of them are just a fan of the show. And that's the other thing. The actual voice cast and staff of the show supports the brony fandom. And they do go to the conventions and talk to the fans, so... That's a big thumbs up from me. But either way, if people want to judge me for liking something that's not really affecting them in any way, shape or form, then so be it. I'll see them as an asshole, but... <laughs> Alright, I'm actually getting tired, so I'm going to shoot off to bed, I think. That's my... explanation of why I personally chose it. Well, not to mention the actual fan base online is lovely. A bunch of wonderful people. I've met a few on some of the groups that I'm not too certain on, but 99% of the ones I've communicated with have been bloody great people. So... And oddly enough, I don't seem to be as much of an ass myself on Facebook as I used to be. I used to deliberately say things to be mean. <laughs> Especially on my local town groups. But I don't do that anymore. I've stopped it. Ever since I got into this show, I've stopped it. I've stopped... Well, the other thing I was... I, I was... My, mostly negative on my local groups. Not mean. I suppose I was mean from being negative all the time. But I just don't feel as negative. And to me that's a good thing. So anyway, I hope you like this video. If you like it, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. If you think I'm gay for liking My Little Pony, then Tell me I'm gay in the comments. As I've always said, the comments section is there for your opinions. Feel free to put your opinions in there. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.